Hey guys, as here, bringing you another video, this time on Fiddlesticks Jungle. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is that we are in spectator mode and not on the stream VOD. Now, the reason for this is I managed to get LOL Replay working again with the help of Fi. I'm still having a couple problems, but it's working more or less um, fine. And right, well, some games I'm not streaming and some I am. Uh, and this game I wasn't streaming at the time, I was just playing solo queue, or duo queue, rather, with Galzuk. Um, I think it was quite late at night, uh, so that's probably why I wasn't streaming. And this game, I decided to choose Fiddle Jungle for whatever reason. Uh, I used to actually main Fiddle in Season 1. He was pretty much the champion I used to level 1 to 30. Uh, so I have really good memories of playing Fiddlesticks. And uh, someone asked in the champion select for me to play an AP jungler. And Fiddle came to mind, and I had this is my first game of ranked uh, as Fiddle this season. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a good thing to go back to, I suppose. Now there are a couple of things to note in this video uh, or commentary. I don't make a huge impact on the game early on, and that's kind of what a Fiddle sticks kind of does. You really need level six to make a huge impact, but. I suppose if you are a better fiddle jungler than me, you probably can get in, you know, little ganks here and there. Um, so I love Fiddlesticks, as said, and he works very well as a jungler, but he's also a very good support. Now one thing also, with being in spectator mode, you do get game sound. So I might try and mix it up a little bit more often uh, that you will get spectator mode. And I think it's best to use spectator mode when... The early mid game isn't the, the most exciting of the champion I'm playing. So I have a Malphite top one I have to do and that was a very boring lane phase. And I'll probably try and make that work with uh, the spectator mode because yeah that was rather boring. And it would be probably quite boring to watch just a Malphite last hitting until team fights happen where as you'd imagine it would be pretty fun. Anyway, starting off on this blue, I take my W level 1, obviously. Uh, just heal that up and trying to just get this blue as quick as possible. Now, I do opt for getting blue before red buff. And normally you do the other way around. But basically, because blue buff is so important to Fiddlesticks, I do not want Evelyn counter get, like counter jungling it uh, and then forcing me away from it. Because I, it is crucial for a Fiddlesticks to get the blue buff. Um, now, it does take a little bit of time for Fiddle to actually finish these little things off, which is annoying. But I do get there in the end. Uh, now, runes and mastery is fairly basic. The runes are uh, AP uh, quints, magic pen reds, armor yellows, and MR blues. There may be a better rune page to go, slightly tankier, or have movement, uh, movement speed involved. Uh, but this is my standard AP armor page that I use for Fiddle Jungle. And then I did opt for 9210, going a slightly tankier. Um, just so an Evelyn wouldn't be able to kill me one on one. Obviously, she has no CC, uh, so it does actually allow me, you know, basically to fight her anywhere possible because she won't be able to stop my drain when I have it running. Uh, so I am probably going to look for a bottom gank right now, seeing if we can make anything happen. Uh, I don't actually think we can. Um, I, well, I wouldn't think so because in the end of the day, Fiddle does not do a lot pre-6. You know, I think I've taken, yeah, you can see in the bottom left, I've taken one in each point. Um, so I do have my fear available, but it doesn't really help me there. Uh, so if you just look around the map, as I was saying, this is going to be a little bit of a boring lane, um, laning phase. Um, mid lane is Zed versus Kennen. It's a bit odd to see Kennen mid, in all honesty. Uh, he is a very good laner. Uh, he did opt for going Cloth 5 at the start of this game. Um, so, yeah, it's a fairly even lane this game. Now, one thing I probably will say um, about LOL Replay right now is I don't think it actually differentiates the teams um, with colours unless it's very mint, like minor, then I, I can't tell really the difference. Now, here's, I think, nearly first blood. Jax is not having a good time up here. Uh, Jax is a good laner, to, like pick, but versus a Jace who can just poke him down most of the laning phase, it, he does find it a little bit hard. No, I was going to stop and do them wolves, but, and, you know, he's going to die any second this J, so I'd rather be around to try and stop that and maybe pick up first blood for, our, you know, our own. Um, so I was expecting Jace to just jump on his face there, but he doesn't. I am in um, just fog of war right now, just waiting for the Jace to jump on his face. Uh, Jace has burnt both of his summoner spells, and Jax actually still has both of his. And in, you can see in the items... Uh, Jace went for Doran's shield, so he doesn't have a ward. Uh, so we are going to move in for the kill. Good stun uh, by Jax, but then unfortunately he moves into the vision. Now, one thing I should have done differently. I should have done Warnower to attack and then started to drain. Because I had red buff, I should have applied it. 
and I actually didn't apply it when I went for that kill. So I do decide, probably just going to base right now, pick up some items. Uh, I did opt for going a Doran's Ring start, which I would probably say is the strongest start. Uh, I did actually cancel my recall there because I thought something was happening. Now a first blood just happened in bot lane, but then Ash kills two of them. Uh, so worth it on our side, we get a 100 gold advantage for that, as well as having a red buff on Ash, which is great. Uh, but I think they went for a slight turret dive there, and then with the Zyra passive and a turret shot, I think, yeah, that's where they got the extra kill. Uh, so that that actually ended up pretty good, although, you know, we, we did give away first blood, but it was to a gank, so it's not all bad. Uh, so I go back to base, I buy a couple of uh, potions, I buy a ward, and then I get early boots, because Fiddle is no good unless he can get into the range of fearing somebody. And obviously I want to get level 6 as quick as possible, so I will be just farming a little bit uh, more than uh, ganking right now. As obviously you guys probably know me as quite an aggressive player, but Fiddlesticks is totally against my style of play normally. Uh, I pick an Elise jungle or a Nautilus or a Jarvan that you just can chain gank early on. Uh, but, you, you know, just getting every single, you know, here and there minions, but you focus on ganking earlier on. Where Fiddlesticks or Shivana, that type of thing, is the complete opposite. You focus on uh, CSing and then ganking when you hit level 6, which is odd to me. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's an odd experience, but I always think it's good to, you know, always uh, play different champions. It keeps League of Legends, you know... Uh, exciting for you, that type of thing. Now I do throw a ward down there because we didn't have any vision and Zed and Kennen are both level 6. Can try and move in for a gank but as you can see if you can't get in range of somebody you're pretty much near useless and that's why I did buy the early boots but they didn't really help me anyway. Uh, I do need that level 6 to really jump on somebody's face. Uh, so we'll pick up these um, race with the help of Zed. Uh, which is quite nice of him. I think he might have actually wanted that for himself, but right now I'm not willing to, you know, give anything up. Now the blue buff is up in the next 15 odd seconds, and I do be, well, I, I will say, I do be a bit of a scumbag this game. Uh, normally, if I'm playing Zed, I would like blue buff myself, um, but this game, playing as Fiddle, I, I think I take most of the blues, but I think I do donate them later on in the game. I just, as I said, I really want to get level 6 as quick as possible. So if I pick up this blue buff, get the red, and then maybe one more camp, I think I'll be level 6. And then I can start making an impact on this game. Uh, lucky for me, the Evelyn so far hasn't made a huge impact. She got first blood, but that's all she's done. Um, normally an Evelyn by now would be chain ganking and getting kills everywhere. So lucky for me, we didn't have that with uh, this Evelyn. So level 5 right now, just got the blue buff. Could, probably going to head straight to red or relatively, you know, picking up different camps. Okay, I stop at wolves just to get more XP because I know Evelyn probably isn't going to contest my red buff. Now that's great down bot lane. Bot lane, they do actually pick up a killing spree for her. And then the final, bam. Very good kill by gals there. No assist for Ash, um, actually. That's quite odd to see. Um, but yeah, they're trading kills down there. But Ash is 3-0, so that's great to have a... And Ash, who is not very strong in the laning phase, especially compared to a Caitlyn, uh, coming out on top. It's, it's always great to see. Now, Gauss's style of support is very aggressive. Gauss is an extremely good support, um, much better than I am in support, and he's very, very aggressive. That's why I love playing support, or playing AD when he plays support. And you notice his first buy. Now, I would not recommend this to most people if you are unfamiliar with supporting or how lane works. Anyway, I'm going in for roll. I'll go back to that. Flash on top of the cannon, and I move in for the kill. Pick up the cannon uh, myself. Somehow, I think the drain continued one extra uh, tick. And then me and uh, Evelyn just continue to um, fight a little bit. But she realizes that I'd probably easily kill her, and she just runs away. Uh, but as I was saying, I would not recommend copying Gauss's build. He is extremely good with the builds he does, uh, but it's not for everybody. You know, wards are a big thing being a support. And he, although he does buy a lot of wards early, he does get damage early, which does lead him to be a bit squishy. Uh, but I do trust Gauss in his, you know, picks and that. So uh, that's pretty much the reasoning why he gets the hunting, guys. Now, after picking up the Ken and Kill, I did actually manage to get a little bit of farm from the mid lane. Not a huge amount, it just makes me pretty much on even with Evelyn, which is not bad as a Fiddlesticks because you are a rather slow jungler in the early stages because your main damage is the drain. Sure, you have the um, Dark Wind that does increase damage to minions, but you still won't be clearing that quickly. Um, move over to the Wolves now. Now, 
I've got 45 seconds until my next ultimate is up, and that is probably the next time you'll probably see me get a kill. Um, or well, that's when I think it was. This game was two or uh, two days ago, I think it was. Um, so I'm I've, I remember some of this game, but not all of it fully. So yeah. So gonna head up top now. I don't know if the top's warded. He does have two wards on him, um, so that would actually indicate that he has none on the field. And then Jax is moving in a little bit aggressive. Lucky like for, for us, Jace actually jumps onto the Jax. Same situation is going to happen again, that he basically gets away with a sliver of health. Uh, he was going for the vision there. He Every single time this Jace gets ganked, he runs like hell to try and get to the bush vision. Now here they actually turned a gank, really well played to them. Now, this being in spectator mode does give you a perspective on the game that you can basically do in that if there's not much happening i can go say you know these guys are doing something good that type of thing and that was a pretty good turn gank they turned a 3v2 situation and they actually got a kill now right now i am thinking right we'll kill jace so any moment now i think i do ping in the lane or it might or it might have already done it and you'll start to see me ult any second so here you go start to ultimate and going for the kill but then jacks backs off at the same time so this is where you can see solo queue communication is just not on point. Um, then Jax goes on him and I'm oom, he's oom. So right now we should just back. I'm pinging back to him right now. Um, and then, well, actually, actually goes unstoppable. So well played to her being 5-0. And this is when I'm going to base. But then the Jax is caught out in a terrible position. And I don't know for the love of me why I did. I basically stopped my recall. I'm going to try and help this Jax... Uh, get back now i fear him at kind of the same time he was stunned uh, so that was kind of dumb right now i should be running away but yeah that it was really dumb play and kabloi. so that wasn't good uh so as you can see with us uh, diamond players we are not uh, immune to playing badly or having bad plays every now and then and that was a very bad play that was a lack of communication start which led into Jax somehow proxy farming behind the turret, me basing here and trying to help him survive, and he actually killed both of us. So that was a not good situation at all. We are still ahead in this game, gold-wise. We are, well, we're just just over 400 gold ahead, which is not amazing a lead. We do have kill two kills advantage, and we have a very fed Ash. Uh, so that is going to help us in this game, you know, just secure a lead and that type of thing. Um, but yeah, that was not a good play. I had my fiddle lot up and I didn't use it. Now, generally, as a fiddle jungle, every single time you have ultimate, you want to try and get a kill with it. It's kind of the same concept as a twisted fate in the mid lane. Every single time you have crow storm up, use it, trying to secure a kill, trying to do something on the map to create pressure. And generally, I'll use it nearly every time. But obviously, I'm not the most experienced fiddle jungler and I'll be the first one to say that. Blue buff is up, and as I said earlier in the video, I'd be a bit of a scumbag, I suppose, but so does the Evelyn, so I'm trying to keep up with her, I suppose. She is level 9, and I'm level 8, so she does have a level on me here. Um, so I do have to be a bit careful of her, but I am taking most of the blues. This is a ward from Jace, I believe, so he does know I'm here. Obviously, you can't actually see that that's their ward, I think, unless I don't have colorblind. That actually might be it. For those who don't know, I actually am slightly colorblind, so that probably would be it. It's probably purple to you guys. Now, one thing I should have done, I was dead anyway, I think, but I should have tried to ult over this wall where I actually just ult to go back into the fight. Um, so they do find me. Good pick on me by them. They have this, obviously. Well, they had that warded, and then Evelyn just waited in a bush. Um, so well played to them. Um, right now, not doing the best, I would probably say, uh, being 1-2-0. There is potential to do a lot better, and this you know this game is kind of what this shows. You don't have to make a huge impact in the game to do well. Obviously, it does help a huge amount that our bot lane is doing quite well with a 5-0 Ash, uh, as well as being eh, not a lot of CS ahead, actually, uh, being 5-0. You'd probably expect quite more. Uh, they will get this bottom tower, which will help the global gold go up. Now, you'll notice my build is, well, a bit odd um, now that I look at it. Had started with the Doran's Ring, got the early boots because Fiddle needs it. And then I get the Seeker's Arm Guard as well as the Spirit Stone. Uh, the Seeker's Arm Guard is there for the Zonyas potentially. The Spirit Stone is there 
uh, for either Ancient Golem or it's there for Spectral Wraith. Both are great items on Viddle Sticks. Uh, I think this game I actually opt for the uh, Ancient Golem just for a bit of tankiness. Now, Gals does get a little bit caught out there. Now, mistake on my part, you could tell I'm a little bit inexperienced with Viddle Sticks or haven't, I'm a bit rusty with them. And the fact that I started to drain and then got knocked up, which is a bit annoying. Zed does manage to kill the Evelyn, which does get rid of her double buffs, which is great. Uh, it means they have no active double buffs on the map. And he just manages to pick up his Blade of the Ruined King, uh, which is great. That was an, actually a pretty good trade now that we look at it, because we did, as I said, get rid of their buffs. Uh, Caitlyn is bot lane doing a bit of tower pressure and getting a bit of, you know, a little bit closer to the farm of Ash. But as you can see, Ash has finished her IE, so she's at a very big stage right now. Top lane, uh, CS difference, let's actually match these guys up. I always used to do this when I first started on YouTube because I always used to use spectate mode. And there we go. That relatively is fine. Uh, probably not in the right order, but that will do. Um, so you can see I'm ahead of Evelyn in kill um, in CS, sorry, but she is quite actually ahead of me now in kills. But that's the thing. Their team's got eight kills and Evelyn has got five of them. And it's not the most useful to have all the kills on an Evelyn because she's very, very squishy and she can just get killed instantly, especially by a fiddle composition that in the middle of a team fight, she'll just go down. Now Zed is looking for a roam right now. He's got 20 seconds until his ultimate is up and he's probably going to do the best as possible to make something happen. Uh, but then he is getting a bit pincered here, so he has to be a little bit careful. We do find Fiddlesticks, and I think now we're just going to pressure on the dragon. As Fiddlesticks is one of the best uh, dragon takers in the game, he actually can solo it, much like a Nasus can. Um, so we're just pressuring them a little bit here. We do pick the dragon up, uh, which is always nice. Ash is looking maybe to do a little, you know, a little bit aggressive, but I think we do decide to just to back off a little bit uh, and then maybe go for the mid tower. Um, which would probably help us quite a bit here. Now, I throw a ward down here. Now, one thing would be great. I think it actually is upcoming. I move backwards, as you can see, and then start my ult cast, so they have no way to stop me right now. So there's one kill, and then moving in for the rest. I tried to block that for Gals, but he moved a little bit too far to the left. Uh, so, yeah, that was actually a pretty good fight. They managed to pick one of us up, but we get two of them with getting their jungler and support. Um, that's the one thing where you have to do with Fiddlesticks. You have to make sure your ultimate isn't getting interrupted, much like a Karthus, because that's a lot of your damage. And if you don't have that in a team fight, you're missing out on a lot. Uh, so you just have to back off away from CC, and that's it. Now, it's arguable that I flashed there, but I really did not want to get stunned. I had one or two marks of lightning, or marks of storm, whatever it's called, from Kennen on me. So one more hit from that ultimate, I probably would have been stunned. So I managed to get the fear on him to basically keep him stationary, which was a pretty lucky fear, in all honesty. You know, sometimes it could move closer to us, or it could have moved further away, but it actually pretty much just stayed still, which may have worked in our favour. Um, farming a little bit more. Um, every, getting farm every now and then. Fiddlesticks isn't a massive farm, as mentioned. I'm being, I have 2-2-2 two, two, two as my score right now, uh, which is not a bad score, being involved in 4 kills out of the 11, but obviously most of our kills have been bot lane. Uh, where they didn't really need my help at all. They were just doing their own thing, just beating um, the bot lane by themselves. And they even turned 3v2 situations. So our bot lane did very good this game. Now I do actually pick up my Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Uh, which as mentioned is to get me just to a tankier state as Fiddlesticks. Because Fiddlesticks are prone to doing a lot of damage in Crow Storm with your drain on somebody. Uh, you'll be doing a lot of damage. But you're prone basically just to get popped. And I don't want that. I am a jungle fiddlesticks that rely, you know, my team will rely on me tanking the Baron and that type of thing. And I can't just simply pop. Uh, so that's why I did opt for getting the sprint, you know, the ancient golem this match. Picking up the blue buff again. Uh, so both this game, me and Evelyn have had pretty much every single buff so far. Um, and we, you know, we've done it in different ways. I've used it basically just for uh, XP. Uh, done a few ganks here and there, um, but Evelyn is in a more aggressive jungler than Fiddlesticks is early. But then throughout the late game, I would argue that Fiddlesticks does have a little bit of an advantage. Now here, Nami has got her oracles, which is a bit questionable, if I'm honest. She hasn't completed even her second sight, you know, the upgraded sight stone, and she has got an oracle. She is extremely squishy and very easy to get, you know, just get owned basically um she's trying to get rid of this ward here but we're just stopping here with zyra 
every now and again and i'm i am tempted just to alter i throw the ward out there to bait her and i was thinking to use my fiddlesticks ultimate but i don't know if they have vision up here so they could just run away which would be a bit annoying and that would be a wasted fiddlesticks ult so she does clear out that ward i think eventually uh, still <laughs> the zyra plants are basically a distraction that she can't auto attack the ward very easily uh, she's she i think she keeps clicking on the plant so that's pretty funny um but anyway the jacks is actually the, he's doing okay you have to remember a Jax is a late game hyper carry and once he gets certain items that's when he'll get rolling off the board um still we plant more wards basically just baiting out the nami seeing if we can do anything there's a gank in mid lane i move in surprise do the best i can uh, Evelyn is, I think she does actually manage to get out, which is a bit annoying. Or oh, she actually runs into... Ah. Well. Whap. I do a fear, and then Jax picks up the kill. So that's great. Jax got red buff. So we get both of them. Our Zed does go down, and... Someone else went down. I think Ash actually managed to kill somebody there, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, something so-and-so is dominating, whatever, however you say that name. Some people have weird games and weird names in this game. They get the mid tower and actually very good engaged by Gals there with his ultimate, managing to realise they'll be able to take the Jace down when the tower goes down, and they manage to pick up another kill for Ash, being a 7-0 Ash. The next kill she gets, I believe that will make her legendary, uh, which is awesome. Uh, my next item I will probably be building is either tier two boots or a Zonyas, and right now I've got 1,400 gold. Uh, so I have enough, well, I nearly have enough for the um, needlessly large rod, which will build into the Zonyas. Uh, but also tier 2 boots are quite important on Fiddlesticks, as obviously movement speed allows you to stay up with people in Crowstorm, allows you to get closer for fear, that type of thing. Top lane, something's happening. They throw an exhaust on the jacks. Let's see what he can do, if anything. Um, no, he just goes down. But he did, he, you can see his damage is starting to come. He did a lot of damage to that Nami. Uh, but as mentioned, okay, she has upgraded to the height, like the bigger Ruby Sight Stone, but still she is rather squishy. Kennen trying to flash away. Good Zonyus, I must add. Uh, good Zonyus to dodge that, but I, I think he might escape. Um, yeah, they, they do escape, and now they're not in the greatest position. But never fear, Fiddle is coming. Uh, that didn't rhyme, but oh well. So we're going to see if we can do anything. Uh, not yet. They are positioned. And... Kaka! Fear the Nami, and she's dead. Gals picks up the kill, which I don't really mind. and I don't know why I flashed. I remember that now. She was He was dead anyway. I think I wanted an assist or even a kill on it. Um, I don't really want to KS it away from the Ash, but I want more gold in the end of the day, I, I guess. And I, I don't know, that was a very bad flash on my part. So we're going to push up the mid tower. I don't have Crow Storm, so we have to be a bit careful because that's a lot of my pressure. Um, but still, I'm fairly strong without it. And as you can see, Jax has picked up his Triforce. Now this is a very good item that has been updated in patch 3.10. And it makes certain champions more viable again. Corky has become more viable. Uh, Jax has become more viable. Ezreal can get that now. It's a very good item. Now, Dragon it is up, but Ash is at the state that she can solo it. So I head over to the enemy's blue buff just to nick it. I think Zed actually does take it, and this is his first blue buff, so it's completely fine. Um, so he gets the blue buff of uh, this time, and I'll probably just pick up R1 when it's up. And I do just to decide to go back, and this might actually be the time where I pick up my Zonyas. So Fiddle is quite unique in his build when he is jungle because he builds items that normal junglers don't really build. He builds a Zonyas, which very little junglers build. You may get the odd Diana jungle that gets it. Evelyn can get it. Uh, Diana, if she jungles, she can get it also. Um, and I might have said Diana. I, meant, I probably meant Zack um, in the jungle because I have actually seen that. Uh, Ash eventually does get shut down. Um, but yeah, I think they took quite a lot to kill her. Uh, so that's okay, I guess. You know, sometimes you just will die. It's uh, inevitable. So I would guess that is a ward on the blue buff from the enemy right there. Uh, I am I'm obviously completely oblivious to this point that they have a ward here. So I'm just going to pick this up and I don't think it even gets contested. The cooldown I have right now allows me basically to have a pure uh, drain life. Always to have it up, which is awesome. And then they are looking to get the mid turret. 
Uh, I was going to do a Fiddlesticks Crow Storm there, but they do have the Nami right there, so she could have bubbled me. And they do actually pick up the mid turret, which isn't great, and they pick up a kill on uh, Gals. But as you can see, there's a Zed. Zed, being the annoying pain champion he is, uh, is basically just split pushing. And we, we distract them somewhat to stop them basing, um, which does give Zed enough time to actually pick up the tower. As well as, I think he... Let's see what he can do here. Dun dun. Jumps on the Evelyn and goodbye. So he picks up a kill. So that's actually really, really good. Uh, he picks up the first uh, base turret. Ne he's got an open inhibitor now. So next time he goes there, he'll be able to pick that up. And he actually gets a kill for his death. So very, very good. Uh, anyway, there's a little uh, skirmish happening right now. So got to be a bit careful. Not sure what happens. Fear the Jace just to stop him a little bit. And then move off to the side. And then I meet a cannon, which isn't nice. So hi, cannon. Uh, I fear him and then try to move off a little bit more. Throw my ultimate down and then I get stunned. Uh, that's annoying. Um, I use my zonias, but I am dead right now. I am dead as a dodo. So, bleh. oh well. Would have been great if I actually managed to get that ultimate off. It would have done a lot of damage to them because then I could have zonias after. But it wasn't to be and I do go down. But as you can see, Jack's up the top lane is just going to rip through this turret. I love that sound. And goodbye turret. So we ha this game we have had a very good team. That We have a Zed split pushing at the appropriate time. Getting to this tower. Eventually probably the inhib. And then we have a Jax that's managed to nearly do the same up top lane. Uh, although he hadn't had a great laning phase. He's actually ahead of his lane opponent in CS right now. So, you know, he you have to give him, you know, props, I guess. <laughs> although I don't use that word very often. Um, he did very well. Now, here is Jack's late game. Goodbye. You had problems with him in lane. No more problems. He just kills him straight out. And then Evelyn shows up. Oh, hi, Evelyn. I'm Jack's late game. Pleasure to meet you. Baron is now under, basically, our control. Uh, we have a Zed split pushing down bot lane and probably will end up getting that kill on Kennen. He flashes, but yeah, this Kennen's dead. There's not much about it. Goodbye. Um, so we're going to start up the Baron and do the best we can. Um, well, best we can. We're going to get it in the end of the day. Now, that pink ward was really weird. It span around when someone, when I think I dropped it or get, I think I actually dropped it. So that was really weird. It, it had a different animation and then span around. But anyway, we do, we do pick up the Baron, and Zed being Zed, draws them out to the side, looking to get that in here. He actually draws three of them, and distracts them get, for us getting Baron, which is great. Would have been better if he didn't die, but oh well. And then me being the clumsy person, I run, run into a trap, and then again, which for it, oof, I hit another trap. It's like, oh, come on. Um, but yeah, I show that we have Baron, but it, it doesn't matter. Caitlyn actually went down um, to our Ash. And uh, now we are, the enemy team is spam pinging, they need help at this turret. But as you can see, the top turret is being pushed, and then the bot turret is going to be pushed relatively soon. Uh, so one thing we could do this game is send Jack's top, Zed bottom, and three of us mid. It does lead us a little bit prone to, to an engage in mid lane, uh, but we probably can manage it right now. So I'm just lurking in the shadows, doing what a fiddle does, waiting to crow storm on people's heads. Uh, mid lane is starting to push a little bit back to our side, so I just decide to jump in the mid lane and just do a little bit of farming. Um, Jax is rather big right now, as you can see. He's got his Triforce, which is his damage, then he has his Banshees, and then he's also got a Giant's Belt, so he's actually becoming very tanky. Uh, now, one item that I love on Jax is actually the uh, Blade of the Ruined King, and he doesn't opt for it, which I don't know why he doesn't opt for it, but he doesn't. Anyway, I was looking to do blue buff, but then an engage happens, and we I think we're about to fight. And Crow Storm, we I flash on top of them, and carnage ensues. Um, so, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> that was a Zyra and a Fiddlesticks ult together, which works perfectly. Uh, keeps everybody in the loop, basically. Zed also finds the Evelyn, and she goes down pretty quickly. Now, we could probably push for this game, but I'm going to just pick up this blue buff because, hey, why not? I'm relatively low on mana and I want some regen. And there goes two turrets at the same time and an inhib. It's like synchronized base taking. Who's going to win? I think this one won, but I'm not sure. I, that was very close. And then in third place, the bottom inhib. Anyway, I'm going to move into the base myself right now. going to see if we can just finish out this game. 
pretty fun game overall is Fiddle Jungle. Obviously, I say I'm not the best Fiddle Jungler, although I do like playing the champion. Um, I might play him a little bit more because he is, actually, you know, very fun to play and he's a very good support as well. Um, but yeah, props to the Ash and the, obviously Gals in bot lane. Zed did very good split pushing as well as the Jack. So just a very good performance generally to the team. Um, so yeah, pretty good game. Zed was looking for a kill maybe, uh, which <laughs> is arguable. Um, and I think we're about to close out this game. So any second now, I think I might crow storm or something onto the, or just flash. Ah, that's what I do. But anyway, there's the game, guys. Thanks for watching. This was Fiddlesticks Jungle, uh, and see you next time.